Hey everybody, it's Hey John. Sorry about the wait, people. I was having some technical difficulties. <laughs> Sorry about that. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? It's Hey John. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Can you all hear me? Leave me a chat if you can. Sorry about that, people. Some technical difficulties. Hello, hello. What's up, everyone? Mm-hmm. Okay. Bizarro, Bizarro. Are you guys here? Can you hear me? Can someone throw a chat if you can hear me? Oh, you can? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Sorry about people. Had some technical difficulties today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Bizarro. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's get to the charts, yeah? Let's get to the charts. Let's check it out. That's why I'm making the video for right now. To see what in the world is going on. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys letting me know because I could not tell for a second there. <laughs> All right, then. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start looking at the charts now. Give me one moment and we'll get to it. Very cool. Very cool. How are you all doing right now? Let me know. Let me know. How are you all doing? Crazy day, right? Doge, 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 Doge went up like crazy. Now it's kind of sinking down. Crazy day. Cut, cut, cut. Crazy, man. Let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna extend these uh, supports out and make it a little bigger so you can probably see it easier. Let's do. Let's go ahead and do that before we get into all this stuff right here. Before I get, before I get into the technicals, because I do want to do a technical breakdown of what in the heck is Dogecoin doing? What in the heck is going on, man? All right. Let's see. Draw this out. So obviously, this is all the stuff, all the stuff I'm drawing right now is from this morning, right? So I'm not really, um, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not really uh, drawing any, I'm just kind of extending it out so we can get a better view of what it was doing literally about a day ago or a few hours ago in this case. All right, then. All right. All right. Let's get to it, boys. All right. I'm done setting up. I do a project for a little way through. I appreciate your patience, everyone. I will get to the chat in a few moments. moments all right. But first things first, I'm going to smash that freaking chart now and give you guys some insight all right so let's get to it all right so it is let's see we have we are currently seeing a convergence all right the convergence of the 50 ma and 200 ma okay we're seeing that converge right now what that means is that when i say converge that means they're, they're coming together the blue and red lines basically and they're going to cross if that if the if that crosses that then that means the 50 ma is going to cross the 200 ma which means we are going to see a bearish cross or a death cross all right so what that means is that it's bearish okay however bear in mind i am looking at the one minute chart so the one minute chart isn't you know the most accurate thing in the world it is used for day trading and we are looking at this live so i want to do this live for you guys and I will start here first, and then I will move on to the four-hour and daily chart and give you guys all of the analysis. But bear in mind, this I'm starting one-minute chart, all right? And I, and I will start. I will I will reiterate for anyone just joining right now. I will get to the chat in a little bit. I want to get to the I want to get to the technicals first. So we may see a bearish cross in a few moments here, which is bearish temporarily for um for Dogecoin. So our current price is twelve five three, which is which is you know, I would say still very bullish, right? Because our last all time high was like, what, four, five or something like that? Four, five, six? I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, 14, five around there or 14, six. So overall, this is very bullish. Irregardless, you know, I would call this more of a pullback than a dump. But, you know, some people are kind of fearful. Like, oh my God, it's dumping, it's dumping, it's dumping. I'd say it's not, it's not, it's not. So anyway, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to zoom out now. Okay. Let's see here. Let me use, let me use, let me go ahead and look at all the other technical indicators and see what we're looking at. Let me zoom in a little bit, all right? So, based on the way this is looking here, I believe in the next, you know, half an hour to hour, right? We're probably gonna, we will probably be consulting around here for the most part, okay? I suspect we're gonna trade in this range here for a little bit. The, the range will be from about 11.85 to about 12.8. 
I suspect for the next half an hour to an hour, we're gonna probably trail on here. This is my um, this is my gut feeling based on what, what I'm seeing on indicators currently. All right, because the reason why I say that is because guess what? We're gonna see a, a, a you know a dev cross soon, so so you know um, that means Dogecoin is gonna come back down for some time. So when it comes back down, guess what? It's gonna have to reset, and we're gonna consolidate a little bit based on this kind of you know um chart I'm I'm, I'm kind of drawing here. And when that consolidation is complete, we're going to break out and go to the moon, hopefully. Okay? So I'm going to leave it there. All right? So all these green lines here are telling you where the temporary support and resistance are, okay? If the candles are in between, right here, then that means 11, 8, and 12, 8 are going to be the support and resistance. All right? If 11, 8, if 11, 8 breaks, that means we're going to see 10, 7, 3 be a possible support. And the reason why I say that is because... Check it out. Check it out. Yesterday, or a day or two. I'm not even too sure when it was. Doesn't matter. But basically, I drew this bull flag out for you guys the other day. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom in now so you can see it, right? And I told you guys, I'm not sure what time it was, but basically over here, we were going we were gonna consolidate for a little bit around this range here, and we were range bound, and then we broke out of the range here. So I'm telling you right now, people, okay? This is a, a right here. This is what I would call... Um, some history here okay because don't forget folks we are in all-time highs so the charts have not had enough time to, to, to develop that is that is henceforth and why i am using the one minute chart currently again it's not for accuracy it is to have you know a barometer a gauge of how to look at this all right so you can see again throughout the day when it progressed you know during our day chat earlier today it progressed and everything and it broke down i guess after the live stream right and guess what? When it broke down, it broke down. Hey, by the way, guys, do me a huge favor. If you're in here, do me a favor and, and smash a like button and go on your on your social media accounts and share this video. Let's get more people up in this mug, all right? Let's get this party started. Um, so so back to the chart now. Um, so 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 we so 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 we pretty much back down right here, right? We went through a few supports and resistance right here, and now we hit the the, the 10 8 right here, or 10 7 6, and that was a long-term support. When I say long term, literally it was about a day ago okay but yeah but, but bear in mind again we are at all-time highs there is no charts here so this temporary support is temporary anyone anyone who's day trading who, who who has any salt they are seeing what i'm seeing here okay so so they're essentially seeing what i'm seeing and that's kind of why you're seeing that, that dip get bought there all right so again the women in chart we're gonna see some consolidation here right now i will move on to the five minute chart and see how it looks in, in a little more condensed view all right so you can see it better when it's condensed it's easier to see okay let's check this out now all right and by the way guys i'm doing this all live you know <laughs> all this uh te technical analysis so you know obviously it's not scripted okay so i may misspeak a little bit and that's okay bear with me all right <laughs> but you are getting my thought process as well so if you want to learn this is quite helpful okay people pay for this kind of crap <laughs> all right anyways um so on a five minute chart here on the um on a five minute chart let's see what we're looking at on the five minute chart the current of 50 ma is below the uh, 200 ma okay but on a five minute chart we are seeing some convergence of the 50 and 200 so what that means is that we're gonna have to wait we're gonna have to wait for some time for um how do you say it we're gonna have to wait for some time for this chart to do for this chart to, to develop here okay because we're gonna wait for the for the 50 ma to cross the 200 we, we, because we want to wait for the 50 ma to cross the 200 ma on the five minute chart however on the current one minute chart you know i mentioned to you before we are seeing a possible um what you might call it a, a bearish cross here so on the five minute chart it's looking bullish because we see the the current 50 ma curling curling up okay when it curls up guess what that that means that there's a, a bullish trend starting, okay? And the current the, the current 200 MA, the, the current 200 MA is only curling down slightly. So what that means is that on, on a, on a um, long-term uh, five-minute chart, we're seeing some uh, downward momentum here, okay? So a little bit of bearishness, but the velocity looks very slow. But we're seeing the five-minute chart, so, um, 50 MA is starting to curl up. So that's kind of why I'm saying to you guys, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we're we are going to consult it here. Uh, uh, for here, for some for some time, you see this little um yellow uh 
kind of like hill and and, and um hill thing right here and valley that's why we that's, that's why it's gonna be boring for a little bit and we're gonna consolidate and when we consolidate we're gonna build we are going to build up build up the technicals all right by the way smash the like button all right and and yeah so when we so so when we consolidate here guess what ladies and gentlemen we are going to see some strength this could be a potential new floor and if 12 cents um, i'm sorry if 11 8 to 12 8 is going to be a potential floor or resistance you know what in my book that is fantastic a few weeks ago we were at five cents or six cents right so our new floor is double the price if you are concerned you should not be trading you should not be investing okay this is fantastic news all right <laughs> if you want to go to 15 cents or 20 cents right away um i think you may be in the wrong investment as well <laughs> it doesn't happen that fast i mean it, it happens fast but you know even in crypto world it doesn't get that fast all right so do me all favors guys smash the like button all right i want to see, I, I see 45 viewers i want to see 45 likes all right show me some love all right simple to do super easy to do and of course Throw your chat message too. I will get to it in a little bit. So the five minute chart, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. However, on the on, on the current MACD here, we are seeing some resetting here, right? I mean, let me, let me build the MACD for you. We are seeing some resetting here, right? And it, and it, and it looks like it wants to reset in the bullish territory. So, th so this indicator here is telling me, hey, you know what? We want to move up. But you have to bear in mind that we have to use a multitude of, of indicators in order to in order to make an accurate um. I would say prediction or an accurate trend to see where we are moving to. All right. So we are seeing some volume come in to kind of confirm these trades here, right? Like over here, when the stick kind of went up to the top, we, we saw about 7.247 million volume, which is great, which is fantastic, right? But we see, but we are seeing some self as well. And you can see the volume, even though it's a lot for now, it looks like the volume is pretty much average. We're not seeing significant volume to kind of push it up. All right. Over here in a five minute chart, if you follow my mouse cursor, if you can see it, um, this right here looks like a reversal count stick right here, um, right here, with, with, with this big 25.286 million volume right here. This is what I would call a reversal count stick. Yes, yes, it looks bearish, but you can see by that wick kind of bouncing off the, the um, 10.075 support, it literally that wick gets bought up immediately. And of course it moves back down a little bit and then it bounces up right away. So the reversal count stick is usually an indicator or a sign in the near term future guess what it's gonna bounce up and that's what it did of course it went down a little bit more but it bounced up though that's what it usually means because when you see a consecutive sign of just of, of seeing it just down 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 and when you see this kind of a wick a long wick on a long candlestick you know then that kind of tells you hey you know what this is gonna be a, re a reversal change it may not happen right away but it'll happen sooner rather than later okay so all right then so let's go over to the 15 minute chart now booyah let's go there check it out check it out all right come on guys i see 52 people watching live right now i want to see 52 likes holler at your boy show me some love all right um okay let's get more folks up in here so we see now on a 15 minute chart <clears throat> we're seeing a totally different story now on a 15 minute chart because you as you can see you know it's a longer time frame so you're able to aggregate the data and you're not seeing all of the minute um nuances all right so on the 15 minute chart here you can see that you know it looks like we're going to consolidate as well but you see the macd here you know you are seeing the macd trying to cross right up into the uh, into the bullish territory but you can see it's still in the bearish territory all right okay so currently on the 15 minute chart here um the bulls are trying really hard to break out but i suspect on the 15 minute chart it's going to take some time to, it's going to take some time to do um to develop so what's that being so what's that being said guess what <clears throat> we're not going to see a bounce right away and we want to see confirmation okay so currently we have let's see let me zoom in for you guys to get a better look see we are seeing a one two three candlestick right here okay and i always tell you guys you want to see at least six or seven candlesticks to confirm the move Alrighty then and you, and you can see the downward trend is, is going down but guess what it started popping back up again all in the bearish territory this tells me the bulls are getting some momentum here I don't know if it was the Europeans um, buying it or the Asians. I don't know. But we are seeing some movement here. Alrighty then. L let me zoom out now and go back to the chart. Booyah. Okie dokie. On the 50 minute chart here, on the 50 MA over 200 MA, the 50 day moving average is about 12.5. And the, the, the 200 day moving average is, is uh, 10 cents, okay? 
but if you look closely um you can see the 50 ma having a downward trend okay and guess what when there's a downward trend a downward trend on 50 ma that means some short term we're gonna see, we're gonna see some bearish momentum here on a 200 day moving average on a two on a 50 minute chart it's still you know climbing up and it has the i would say um a um horizontal slash I would say maybe like, like a 45 degree um, angle velocity. So this tells me on a longer term for Dogecoin, it's quite bullish. Henceforth, why we are still, you know, in the 12 cent, 13 cent territory, okay? Now I suspect if everything breaks down here, you know, I would say the next buy zone is going to be 10, 10, 1, 1, okay? So follow the 200 day moving, uh, follow the 200 day moving average on the short term 15 minute chart and you will be able to find a, a possible dip buying opportunity. All right. So moving on to the hour, you know, um, for our chart now in a, in a you know, a more uh, grander um, time scale here, we can get a really, really good view now of what's going on. So you can see on the four hour chart, did you see that circle I drew right there? In between these two green lines, well, that guess, guess what? On a forward chart, you're seeing these two big wicks right here, right? Then guess what? These two bigs, these two big wicks are an indicator of a possible reversal. So you saw with a red candlestick and a wick, and then following the green candlestick, another wick. So that means for for about these eight hours here, anything from ten seven six was bought up almost instantaneously. Anything around ten seven was bought, bought, bought. Everyone bought, bought, bought because everyone said, you know what? We, we we were seeing 10 8 um being the temporary support based on the one minute on the one minute time frame because we dipped there a couple of times and we had a bull flag there and people who are day trading this you know they are savvy and they understand the charts so th so, th so they saw what i saw they saw a bull flag and bull flags are usually are usually are usually guess what bull flags they're bullish okay so people so people who are day trading guys saw that as you know what hey man this is my um day trading muscle memory so i see it around there i'm gonna buy it that's where i want to buy the dip okay and we're seeing on the on the forward chart um you see the the, the macd here right um the macd it's still guess what for a 12 12 and 26 they're both angling up to the moon okay but however we are seeing um the closing sticks they're kind of downtrending, right? So we're seeing some pullback here. But overall, on a four-hour chart, this is extremely bullish. All right, extremely bullish. Okay, let me let me emphasize let me emphasize that to you again. Extremely bullish because we're seeing incredible divergence between the twelve and twenty-six um, day moving averages on the MACD. That, that, that is important and even though it had a pullback it started it started to diverge again and guess what F facing to the moon the, the the current velocity of the two uh, of the 26 and 12 day moving average are insane it's literally like a vertical okay this is going to be insane all right then so let's pull back now so the forward chart i can't explain to you okay and on the four chart, we are also seeing incredible divergence between the 50 and 200. So on, so as you can tell, on a longer and longer and longer time frames, you are seeing extreme bullish optimism. If you are a bear, I fear for you. You want to be a bull when you see these kind of charts right now, okay? Because even we, I, I'm gonna draw it here on a four hour chart here. Even if we pull back, we may see, see something like this here and move back up, okay? All right, let me draw it again because uh, <laughs> kind of hard to draw here. All right, so we may see something something like this right here, right? But we're going to still be moving up in the uptrend here. This is kind of what I'm seeing here on a long trend. By long trend, a forward chart, it's going to take significant time, okay? And usually for a forward chart to reset, um, on a forward chart to reset, it can take up to a week or two weeks sometimes to possibly, to possibly reset. So I would say for the next two weeks or even a week here, you are going to see extreme, extreme, extreme bullishness. And if you're going to be day trading, it will be, it's going to be very easy, to, easy to buy dips and sell pops. I don't give financial advice. I'm just explaining to you what I would do if I was a day trader. If you're shorting now, it's going to be a hard, it's going to be a lot harder to short. And you're going to, and you're going to realize that, Hey, I'm shorting here. It's taking a long, it's, it's taking me a long time to get my money. That's because guess what? It's in a bullish momentum here. So you're fighting. So basically, if you're a bear and you're shorting right now, you are going against a headwind. However, if you are shorting now as a bear, I suspect in the near term, in a week or two, you will make some big money. Okay. 
this, because right now Dogecoin is having all time highs. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? You are going to be making a lot of money. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. Yeah. So, um, by the way, guys, I'm looking at, I'm looking at my likes right now. I only see 32 likes and I see 73 people up in this mug. Show me some love people. All right. Smash the like button. All right. If I see 70 viewers, I want to see 70 likes. All right. Show me some love. All right. Anyway, back to the chart now. Um, let's see here. So, um, okay. So on a four chart, that's pretty much what I see there. So basically it's going to be super bullish. Now, now I will move over to the daily chart here. And by the way, guys, I'm doing all of this technical analysis live. It is not scripted. It's not scripted. I don't have some kind of manual I'm reading off of. You know, I'm doing this all based off of my experience here. So you are getting some incredible insight, believe it or not. If you don't believe it, that's fine. But I'm telling you, you are getting incredible insight. <laughs> all right. So, so let me zoom out a little bit. Um, let's see here. Um, okay. And the reason why I say it's so bullish is because yes, the charts are showing it. Everything is showing it. But guess what, man? The most important thing you're seeing here is the volume, okay? You know, I noticed that this morning, some of you guys and girls were saying, hey, we were seeing 20 billion volume. I'm like, how do you get 20 B? I only see 2 B. But anyway, maybe different, uh, you know, different, um, I don't know, uh, um, platform or something. Beats the heck out of me, but all right then. So on, on, March, on April 13th, right, we saw 2 billion coins traded, okay? All right? So 2 billion... Okay, with volume, with volume, you can never fake volume, okay? Volume is the one thing you can never fake. I'll explain to you why right now. Because volume is basically buying and selling. You cannot fake that, okay? Because guess what? If, you, if you're going to buy and sell, you're going to need to put that money into, there, into it to buy it, all right? And um, another thing to note as well is that with volume, volume is a true indicator of anything because with volume, you are following the money. And when you see the money flowing somewhere, I'm going to say it, you know, I don't want to sound obvious about it, but hey, you know what? Follow the smart money. It is very straightforward, okay? If you just, if you, if you take nothing else from this um, live stream of technical analysis, follow the money, that's all you got to do, all right? <laughs> to put it super simple, okay? <laughs> but of course there's more to it all right i, I don't want to uh, downplay anything but i'm just saying all right <laughs> if you take nothing else away from this maybe it's too maybe it's too complicated for you or whatever follow the smart money and i suspect you'll be you will do just fine all right okay so on daily chart here you can't really see it because all the stuff i'm drawing here but um you're seeing a big wick on the daily council on april 13th it um the high was 1451 so 1451 is going to be the thing we're going to be watching out for to break if we don't break that then i suspect we may consolidate a little bit and and you know make it makes it making some stepping stones to go up there okay um and so that's pretty much it and on the current um uh, daily uh, moving at daily right here. We're seeing about uh, 0 0.599 on the 50 day moving average. Okay. And a 200 day is 0 0.025. Okay. That is significant because on a 200 day moving average, um, the um, 200 day moving average a day before it was 0 0.024 and a day later it's 0 0.20. I mean, 0 0.0253. So it increased about 0 0.001. Before that, it was increasing at a rate of maybe 0 0.0003 uh, or something. So we increased that, that velocity dramatically. I know I'm reading to you these decimals and they seem very insignificant to you. But I'm telling you right now, on the 200-day moving average, if you can move a decimal place, um, that is ginormous, okay? You know, I don't know how to explain it to you, but it is ginormous. And, and, and it's evident, and guess what? The two in the two billion volume. When you see that kind of stuff right there, it is changing the winds to an upward direction. Okay, can it pull back? Absolutely, it can pull back. Absolutely, it can absolutely pull back. All right, absolutely. But I'm telling you right now, based on what I'm seeing here, it's extremely bullish. And um, guess what? The 50 day moving average is still over 200 day moving average, so that means that we are still in a bullish um. 
a bullish across and we're still bullish on a long term a daily is a very healthy indicator of using it for a long term trade swing trade or investment okay when you use four hour 15 minute etc those are more for swing trades when i say swing trade it could be up to two weeks or a few days here um all right so let me get to the macd real quick and you know explain to you guys as well and show you what's going on here we're we are seeing extreme divergence right here on the on the on the daily um macd here and i make kind of make sense right here right because we're seeing extreme price um volatility and movement you see the candlesticks um I'll go back real quick the range is literally um let's see here let me see if it counts it for me all right well uh let me let me let me try to cover it sorry um let's see so you can see it hopefully um all right so on a one day um uh, on a one day stick yesterday we had a five we had a five three guys one second commercial break give me a second please All right, sorry about that, guys. Um, let me get back to it now. So we had a, so we had about a, a, um, a five or I would, say, you know, I would say six cents to give you a round number. We had, a, we had a six cents, um, what do you call it? Um, a divergence there. Okay, so that's so that's pretty big. Six cents for Dogecoin. I mean, think about it. Dogecoin for the longest time was only was only about six cents. So we had a six cents um, difference right there. Okay, that is humongous. All right. So I'm gonna say that right there and leave it right there for you guys. All right, um, so yeah, so that pretty much covers the technicals. Let's go back. To, let's go back to the minute chart and see what's going on. All right, then. So back to it. Okay, we broke out. Okay, okay. It looks like it. It looks like it didn't want to consolidate, but based on the current MACD here, it looks like it wants to come back down here. So it looks like we may be consolidating at um, possible twelve eight. If it consolidates around there, then we may see something like this. All right, we may see it bounce here and kind of hang on here for a little bit and then kind of go back up here. We can see we can see something like that's possibly who knows, man. Because again, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it again, we are in all time highs, so it's kind of crazy right now. So, so, so don't be, um, you know, <laughs> don't, don't, don't be too concerned. You're in a profit zone. If you want to take profits, take profits. It's very healthy to take profits. Do not be, do not be shy about that. There is no problem about that. Let's see here. Okay, so I am done with my daily technical analysis. Usually I make a video for that, but I figure I'll do a live stream so you can see it live and get some insight that way. Because basically when I record my videos, I kind of just do it once. That's kind of why you never see edits there. It's kind of, you know, a little, uh, <laughs> I would say a little unprofessional, but you know what? That's what it takes, man. <laughs> you got to know what you're talking about if you want to do what you want to do right here, right? All right. Um, hey, did you see a, a Dogecoin Reddit? A guy traded for Xbox for Dogecoin? No idea, man. I don't see everything. Unfortunately, I do not see everything. Unfortunately, I wish I do, but I don't. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys have any questions, throw it in the chat. You know, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, okay? And um, yeah, you know what I mean. Show me some love, please. And by the way, how are you all doing? How are you all doing? <laughs> Let's see, price discovery. Yeah, I would say that's a fair thing, man. Price discovery is a very fair thing. I would say that for sure, absolutely. You know what I mean? It is. Uh, it is. It is incredible right now. Should we buy at fourteen cents? Um, that's a personal. Uh, uh, Alexis, that's a personal decision, my friend. That's a personal decision. It dep you know, based on what I'm showing you here on the charts here, you have to make your own, your own decision based on that. I don't give financial advice. I only share with all, with all you what I would do. And by the way, I need you all to smash that like button and show me some love, all right? I see 100 people up in here. Smash that like button. It's easy to do. Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, Doge Mafia, 20 cents floor. Should have should have bought at the 10 cent dip a couple hours ago. We are going to consolidate on the moon. Absolutely. We will absolutely consolidate on the moon. Can you talk, can you talk, can you talk about Coinbase with the list? 
And when will they list? Have they said anything? Well, Coinbase doesn't talk to me or you. They will do it when they want to do it. Emmanuel, you're very welcome. I'm, I'm happy the info is good for you. When will Doge reach $1? At Ismail Tass. You know what? It'll reach $1 when I say, ah, woo! <laughs> Guys and gals, smash that like button. I bought out 14 cents at Steve Raleigh. It's okay, brother. It's okay. Make sure you have some dry powder to average down, okay? I always tell everyone to invest and have dry powder. Do not just... Do not be one of those people who just buy, buy, buy all at once, okay? Because you're going to need some dry powder and you're going to want to have some time to buy dips because guess what? No one's a pro trader, even me. I buy dips and, and over time, I have an average price. I'll buy up and down. I don't care. But as always, I only buy the red days. Um, low roller scratcher here. <clears throat> you, you, you need to go Dogecoin right, right, right now. We'll be, you will be shocked. Expo trade Dogecoin. You will see how much it's worth. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, man. But I will do that later, though. Let's see here. Why well, I just don't you have over one K sub. Absolutely. I appreciate all the love all you guys are here. You know what I'm saying? This is how I got one K subs. And it wasn't due to me. It was all it was due to all you all. You know, sh sh you know, smashing that subscribe button and smashing that like button, all right? I appreciate the love. Let's see here. Ha uh, to the moon. Thanks for answering. I initially bought 350 at 54. But I want to buy more just waiting for a dip or maybe risk it and buy at 14 cents. You know what, Alexis? With the way it, with the with the way things are consolidating, you know, um, twelve cents or, or ten eight may be the new floor. So you know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm saying that, but I don't know for a fact because again, we are in all time highs, and there are no charts to, to determine anything. We are literally in unknown territory right now. Okay. Um, all Coinbase connections work available to look up on GitHub. Not sure, man. Uh, James Calhoun. I'm not. I'm not. I am not a developer. If you can read code, hey, read code, man. Share with us that insight. I can read code. I I I only know SQL, which that's for structured query language. I do not know Python or anything else. I can add five five fantastic fan, SM goodie, my boy here. Ah, woo! This is for you, my brother. Ah, woo! Love dips. You should have bought the dip. We're waiting for the devs to implement the Rosa API to Doge. It's it's being worked on absolutely. The extra dimensional 250k on Doge, absolutely. My average cost 54, 54. Elon is a president. Yes, Elon is my president. I don't know about you guys, but he's my president. And by the way, if you're all here right now, do me a huge favor, smash that subscribe button and smash that like button. All right. Let's see. Any mods post a Doge on Reddit? He can see it. Uh, I don't know. Um, buy the dip. <laughs> Coinbase connection being done by volunteer devs. Absolutely, everything in cryptocurrency are pretty much volunteers. That's why I I I, I shout to all you. To show to show some love to the devs, buy my beer, get get my donut or coffee. Dips, dips, dips. Next thing, next next high thing to boost Coinbase sales, um, is when they announce Doge is tradable on Coinbase tomorrow. That is quite possible, very possible. I don't know, man. I don't know because I don't work for Coinbase and they don't tell me stuff. If they did, I would be happy to report it. All right, let's see here. Next high thing to boost. Um, Friday's payday. Why wouldn't Coinbase? out doge on it because you know what coinbase does what coinbase does they don't care about you and me okay They're, you you best believe they are going to use you best believe they're going to use the, the the doge marketing machine to make more money you best believe that let's see here ah woo at slim goody ah woo for you brother let's see here um github has updates on coinbase application was that a question needed work? Okay, James James Calhoun, question for you as James Calhoun. Are you a developer? Do you understand code? I'm just asking, not I'm asking to verify because you know I would like to have you know um real information here. I don't want people just saying this and that here. So if you are a developer, you know code, then I will take your word with a little more with you know a little more weight, okay? Not that I'm questioning you, I'm just wondering, you know, what your specialty is here. The wells are dumping. If you want a moon, you got to pump. Dip set, dip set. All right, then we're, we're seeing some price price moving up. The, the next possible uh, resistance, resistance is going to be 1369. Okay, it looks like it does not want to um, consolidate. It looks like it, it looks like it just wants to moon and we're and, and when you're seeing a moon that that means the buy bots are turned on and no one cares. It's buy buy buy. By the way, folks, smash the like button for me. Show me some love. Um, don't be afraid. Bye, bye, bye. 
I want to be mod so I can post Dogecoin Reddit. Okay, little scratcher. Okay, I will. I will look into that. Uh, Dogecoin Rocket Moon Dog. Okay, if you wait for the announcement, you will be too late. Um, you will be too late. Um, uh, but by an hour regret, how how can you not see what's happening? Well, I don't know, Slim Goody. I don't have that kind of insight or that kind of, or that kind of inside information, so I cannot stay with any kind of significant, you know, um, certainty. And I don't want to announce anything unless it's certain. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doge, Doge. By the way, Slim Goody, that's pure speculation. By the way, no one knows, right? Super Doge. I mean, if you know, that's fantastic. Share us, share us what kind of inter share, share us, share with us your insider knowledge. Doge, Doge, Super Doge. I'm at Disney World. My five-year-old is running around yelling to the moon. Ha <laughs> ha, woo! Hey, by the way, Slim Goody, Disney World. Oh, wait, I'm in Florida, right? Never mind. I'm thinking of Disneyland in Anaheim. And, and um, when I read Disney World, I was thinking of Disneyland in Anaheim, you know, Ana Anaheim, California. But never mind. Hey, John, what's your, what's your plan for the next um, 30 days? Wait, hey, hey, what's your plan for the next 30 days on Doge? My next plan for um, Doge is, is HODL, okay? Very simple, HODL and HOLD. Dressed like Darth Vader. That is so cute, Slim Goody. That is so cute. That is awesome, man. Does anyone th think um, there is a chance it will drop below seven cents? Okay. Add out, out, out uh, timers. You are dreaming, brother. You are dreaming. Is it possible? Absolutely. Do I think it's do I think it's likely? Do I think it's likely? Not really. Uh, let's see. Pirate Pete. Uh, uh, Pirate Pete and Zachary. To my boys in the chat. Ah, woo! This is for you. Sup, John? Please find my wife Heather to wake up and buy some Doge. Oh my God! Output one point nine. I am not going to get into your. I'm not. I am not going to intervene in your um um you know personal um marital affairs. That's between you and your wife. That is not my job. <laughs> it's been posted on Reddit for for the last couple of days. The devs are looking for help. I'm not. A, I'm not a dev that's found the GitHub update site. I hear you. Okay. Um. A newbie who is the first time buying Dogecoin for the first time. Duh, I, I, I just know it's coming soon. Okay, Slim Goody, I guess you have the crystal ball. That is fantastic. And by the way, if you're here joining me right now, do me a huge favor and smash that subscribe button and smash the like button, all right? The reason why I say you want to smash that subscribe button and smash the like button because A, when I end this stream and I can and, and when I make a new stream, you're gonna wanna, you are going to want to be subscribed so you can so you get a notification when I when I when I, when I drop these live streams, all right? Let's see here. Duh, I just know it's coming. 13.2 cents on Robin Hood. Your kid I, I did it, your kid I did it the young to the moon. That is absolutely cute. <laughs> Super cute. To the moon. <laughs> Even my niece knows Doge. Okay, well, you know what? Your niece is gonna be the future of Dogecoin. You know, she'll be buying Dogecoin and, and she'll be sharing her wealth, buying tons of Milky Way bars, Snickers bars, Twix, you know, and of course. Our favorite Slim Jims, you know, your 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 niece is going to be is going to be very obese due to the fact that she's going to be a bazillionaire with her Doge coins. So you have no one else to blame but yourself. Do you think that we will be an? Do you think that we wait? Do you think that will be an other solid dip to purchase from? I already explained to you guys the green lines of what they are and what they mean. So you need to look at them. I cannot repeat the same thing a million times. It gets exhausting. Let's see here. Uh, pump it, baby. Pump it. <laughs> By the way, for everyone just tuning in, I am not a pumper. I just share with all of you my insight of what I think, okay? Take it with a grain of salt, all right? <laughs> you know, um, I don't want to le mislead anyone here. So, all right, then. Let's see what we got here. What we got here? Um, Doge. How much, how much is Doge currently at Misha? The current price of Dogecoin is 13.32. That is phenomenal. That price is insane in the membrane. Let's see here. Uh, Peter uh, Pirate Pete going to buy more Doge when it dips. Absolutely. Eric Sackhorn, one Doge equals three Mexican pesos now. Fantastic. You know what that means, people? We should go to Mexico, spend some Dogecoin, and, you know, as Kanye, as Kanye Way says, live in that good life. Live in that good life. <laughs> let's see here buy pump buy pump coinbase sends it to, to 25 cents in a month time easily i sure hope so this must be a buffalo bill from science of the lambs i don't get it 
easy 25 cents <laughs> let's hit 10 cents on let's hit, let's hit number 10 on car at coin market cap today you know what it's very possible with the power of teamwork because teamwork makes a dream work all right so you all need to smash the like button okay if you want Doge to go higher you need to subscribe to my videos you need to and you and you need to smash a like button so we get more folks up in this mug so we can grow the doge coin together okay we want to grow the doge coin community together i see 154 people here i only see 69 likes please do not be lazy smash the like button it's easy to do use your finger all right it, it takes a, like a little movement you can do it for me show me some love all right show hey john some love he sounds like the announcer in the hunger games do you mean me I have no idea. <laughs> Very small correction today. I've never seen Hunger Games, so I, I so I couldn't comment on that. But you know what? I do appreciate the love. And you know, at, at Robert Reich's ah woo for, for saying that I am someone important. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yes, Smokey Purr, it did hit number ten. It did hit number ten. Let's see. I withdrew my equity from Robinhood once again. Again, they screwed me up, and I couldn't buy anymore. The withdrawal project took a few days. So I brought one K to buy Doge on Binance. And I missed a pump. Okay, Cramp, you have something I was... Cramp AI, you have something I call. Guess what? I call that FOMO. FOMO is never good, okay? FOMO is never good. Use your um patience, okay? FOMO is not for the good people. FOMO is for the ones who day trade. Do not have that, please. Let's see here. <clears throat> Let's get 1220. Just, um, pump, it, pump it, dude. Pump it, dude. I don't pump anything. I just share the news with you and, and the technical insights. It's up to you to determine whether you want to buy or not. I don't. I do not give financial advice. Let's see here. Jesse Lee, so easy, just don't sell. Jesse Lee said the best. If you're an investor, you can make tons of money. If you're a day trader, you can make tons of money and losses too, because not everyone is the best, you know, um, day trader. At Carito Slayer, yo, bro. At Carito Slayer, I want to shout out, give you an ow and say what's up brother i appreciate you hollering at me and giving me a what's up i appreciate the human interaction like that all right uh duck star ex explain macd in simple terms for us macd stands for moving moving average conversion something diverge i forget what it stands for like I, you know what i forget what it stands for okay but but a macd essentially just means where you're comparing the 12 day and 26 day moving averages all right to get a possible um, short-term buy or sell signal, it's one of many indicators. It, it is not the it, it is not the you know one all be all. Okay, no highs, no lows, only Doge. My boy SC Infinity said it said it best. No high, no lows, only Doge. If you know what I'm saying, only Doge. I totally agree with that. Only Doge. There was a 8.7 grand in my Robinhood when I left Connecticut on Saturday morning. I'm at 50 grand almost. At Slim Goody. You are making that good life, brother. You're making hella money. Congratulations. I will give you an awu because you doubled your money. I love reading that, reading that stuff. I love hearing that stuff, man. I love it when people make hella money like that. And by the way, at everyone here who are making hella money, and if you're selling if you are selling and taking some profits, there is no shame in that, okay? But do the Doge community, but do the Doge coin community a favor and share some love. And show some love, you know, to the Dogecoin developers, all right? Show them some love because because without them, we couldn't do this, okay? Please understand that. No no Dogecoin developers means no no Dogecoin. It's very simple. If you're profiting off of their hard work, you know, if you're making a hell of money, you know, buy them a cup of coffee, you know? I'm not saying give them, a, give them like, like, like 10 grand or anything, you know? Buy them a cup of coffee. Buy, buy, buy them a donut, you know? Show them some love. Show them some love. They need the love. I keep on saying it because you know what? Everyone, everyone ignores the developers and think me, 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 me. No, 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 no. Is that me, 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 me? It's us, us, us. We're a community, okay? And show and show some love to our furry friends, the ones, the ones that say ah woo. Let's see. No FOMO. I know it'll pump. Everyone losing day trading. I guarantee. Absolutely. Just about three hundred. Get uh, twenty four forty three at twelve. Absolutely. Dogecoin. Coins on the moon to Pluto. <laughs> uh, I love Pluto. I would love to go to Pluto, by the way. 
quoting all 58k coins, I'm close to paying her mortgage. Emmanuel, that is Emmanuel uh, Valdez. That is fantastic news. I love reading people, you know, having, you know, amazing financial decisions and having financial freedom. The next step towards it. That's amazing. Congratulations at Emmanuel Valdez. You are the real MVP of the Dogecoin community. All right. Reaching that financial freedom. That is super duper important. Let's see here. Doge may be rich. Absolutely. Secured 33k. Secured. 33k last night. Oh my god, that is insane. I'm up and I ain't and I ain't taking no profits. Strong hotto. <laughs> Buy low, sell high, take your profits and then reinvest. As Tim Goody, that's a typical day trader mentality. Okay, that's fantastic. If you're good at day trading, but you're not, do not do that. It's scary. By the way, if, you're, if you are just joining, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, show me some love, alright? Show me some love to Tay John. Show your boy some love, alright? Possible W breakout. Very possible. Very possible. Just past link. Uh, first one on me, guys. AJT. All right. AJT said first one on me. So w when we are all on the moon, do not forget that hold AJT to his word. All right. We like we like to hold people accountable. If you say you're going to do, if you say if you're going to buy a round for everyone, do it. You know, I, and I would like a shot. All right. Or or old fashioned from, from me. Old fashioned whiskey. All right, AJT. I don't take beers, but I do take old fashioned whiskeys with some orange peel on it. <laughs> Noise. Pluto. I told Doja five cents, thinking I was stagnant for the next few months. Okay, I was wrong. I've never done in Doja again. I bought a dip and holding to one. I don't care. All right, man. All right, Dark Star. You know what? You've you've learned you've learned in life, and I'm happy to hear that. It's okay to make mistakes, but it's important, more important, to learn from it. If you do it again, that is scary. Let's see here. I panicked about ten. That's not good. Uh, by the way, when I saw Chase right this morning, you know, or last night in my live stream. He, he kept on saying, Dogecoin is going to crash. And I kept on saying, I chased right. Brother, did you did you sell the pop? And uh, clearly he did. <laughs> and that's okay, brother. That's okay. That's okay. You're, le you're learning to not do that next time. That's fantastic. I'm happy to hear that. All right. Pop back on 11-2. Very scary. Don't don't re recamp. Uh, yeah. Yeah, hell of a scary thing. Absolutely. Day trading is scary. That's why I never, that's why I never, ever, ever encourage you to, to day trade. If you want to day trade, that's on you. But you would never hear me say day trade because I do not want you to lose your important fun money, okay? I do not. All right, then. All right, then. All right, then. That's what you got here. Um, um, if there is infinite Doge, how does it sustain value compared to other coins with a cap? Well, you know what? Dogecoin is, is inflationary, but over time, it becomes deflationary due to the fact that, you know what? The price is going to go up, and people are going to buy more, and people are going to lose the coins. That's why it's cheap, initially, at least. Um, let's see here. What's the lowest you think Dogecoin will hit tomorrow? You know what? Based on these, on these green lines here, that's what I think, where we hit the lowest. When it sink, do not sell, hold. At my boy Panit Panit Singh, okay, you need to listen to him, all right? I'm gonna give my my boy Panit Singh an ow because he's a real MVP. He is dropping some hella investment knowledge here. Do not sell, just hold. AJT, hello, I got you, bro. You know what, AJT, you got me. I appreciate that. I would I would like an old ration with my orange peel. Get ready to panic. Elon love Doge to the moon. Twenty five cents. Let's see here. Alrighty then. By the way, everyone here currently watching my live stream here, I am ending my live stream here, but I will have another live stream later tonight. So you want to smash that subscribe button and smash the like button if you want to be on my next live stream. I will have a, a one later tonight. I need, to, I need to step up right now and take care of some real life business, okay? So if you want to be on my next live stream and get notifications, smash that subscribe button, all right? And if you want me to read your, your, your comments and, and answer you, you better smash that subscribe button and notification so you know when I drop the um when I, so, so you know when I drop the um drop drop that next live stream. It's hey John, I will catch you all on the next one.